Hi, my name's Jim. I am the Solar Boondocker. If you stick around long enough, I'll teach you how to be one too. Today I wanted to give you a preview of what's coming up on the channel. This is the wind generator that I and Bob Wells have done a review on, or at least started doing reviews on. And over time, I'll show you how I put it together, the mounting system, and what the output is. Now, so far today, it's been okay windy. The weather station says it's been up to 12 miles an hour. And I've actually seen it turn, but I know it takes at least 10 miles an hour to make it turn at all. It's going to take 23 and a half miles an hour to put out the 400 watts it's supposed to. So let's look a little bit at it. The first thing is going to be cutting these two pieces of conduit. It's inch and a half conduit, threaded on both ends. Um, deciding the length, uh, you, you want as much height as you can possibly get with a wind generator, but I'm limited to what I can store. The conduit is going to be stored on this back bumper strapped down in between uses, so that makes it really easy to figure out how long I want it. It can be as long as the bumper. So let's get to cutting it, and we'll be back after that. So this is the first attempt at building out the mount for the mast. It's going under the tongue of the trailer to hold it down. Tongue weighs a lot. And um, first thing I have to do is cut the piece of wood to size, figure out where to put the drill holes, and bolt the mount in. Let's see, let's see if I don't cut off my finger first.
that'll work. Now this is the EcoWorthy 400 watt wind turbine. It looks like it's blowing pretty good, but even if the wiring isn't hooked up yet, it's not going to produce a lot of power at this speed. I know that. I know that it takes 23 and a half miles an hour to get uh, 400 watts out of it. So there you have it. Just a little bit of a preview of what's coming up on the channel. I want to thank Bob Wells for making it possible. He purchased the wind generator so that I could put it together and, and make the review. And I will be continuing on reporting on the output and wind conditions required, how well it stands up, how much power it actually produces for me. This is a fairly windy afternoon here at the gravel pit and so far I, I don't think it would have produced a lot of power. Um, where I'm expecting it to be useful, <clears throat> where I'm expecting it to be useful is areas like Ehrenberg this winter when it's not such a nice day but we got a lot of wind for up to two weeks at a time. 23 and a half miles an hour is something I'll be able to feel inside my trailer. So I'll, I'll, I'll know if it's actually producing. So far it's not an exactly loud generator, but then again I haven't heard it turn at the speed that it's going to require. So just a little taste of what's to come. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you come back for more because I sure likes talking to y'all. Have a great day.